Okay. <laughs> now back here post game <laughs> with head coach Lee Berea following a 3 1 win over Northern Michigan. Ooh. Coach, you guys got it done once again. Last night beating Michigan Tech for the first time in eight years. Now Northern Michigan for the first time in five years. What's been the recipe? Battling, just battling, being gritty, getting it, getting it done on our side, focusing on us. Uh, that's what we got to do, and we found a way, you know. And and Michigan, uh, Northern Michigan, they they played well and, and started playing better, um, especially in set three. Um, and we just kind of battled back and started focusing back on us. I thought we got lost a little bit, but focus on us and kind of settled in and got it done. What do you think made it so tough for your group in sets three and even the beginning of set four because they really had their foot on the gas? Looks like they defended really well. They do, man. Uh, they defended at a really high level and uh, they do a really good job of controlling touches and stuff like that. And so um, that was definitely different from last night. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. making sure that we knew that the rallies were going to be yeah. longer um, and almost not getting discouraged when they were. Yeah. Um, but I thought after that, after set three especially, we were able to, okay, they're going to play good volleyball. We're going to play good volleyball. Let's just focus on us. Ava Irvin had 17 yeah. kills. El Trunca Brown at 14, and Sam Fish at 14. When you have three players hitting on all cylinders in that respect, how important is it for this group? Super important. And I mean, if you even look at it, they were all hot at different parts of the match, you know? And, you know, you look at Sam, who, when you look at the box score last night, she really struggled. Mm -hmm. um, and to come out right away and get 14, bouncing back, especially as young as she is, is yeah. huge. Um, and then, like, Elle was hot early, and then she kind of worked into it. And then Ava got really hot and set three and four, um, and that was able to kind of carry us into it. So, I, no, balance is so important, especially when you have balance on both pins um, with it, for sure. To have this win in front of a bunch of your alumni, how cool is that? Oh, very cool. I mean, it's, it's fun. It's like, oh, I've been here long enough now. I have multiple alumni so i'm excited and, and getting to know them a little bit more and they're proud about being parkside volleyball alumni and so it's exciting and hopefully they enjoyed watching our team compete that is right now because it's because of our alumni and everybody um in the program before that we're even where we are at right now coach you just finished up the second week in a gliac play and i don't know if you know this but you won three games last year in the gliac you've already won three games now i think the statement has been made to the gliac that parkside is here to stay but what does this mean to you for just this program and all to have that mark and to be moving in this direction that you are i mean for sure I, we joke every year that the gliac is wide open and it truly is i mean if you look at the results right now it's like oh my gosh what is going on yeah. um, it's a beautiful thing but we've been talking about this and kind of it is kind of ironic that it happens you know with alumni in town because you know it, we knew it was going to be a process we knew it would take building and we knew that if we stayed the course and you know focus on our culture and moving forward every single moment that things like this would happen and this is going to become the norm and become consistent you got to learn how to do this first um, so the ability to do it um, to start three and one on, in conference play is huge coach looking forward to Tuesday's match against Purdue Northwest yes. uh, let's look ahead real quick to yep. it What's so important to focus on? I know this is a really quick turnaround, but how do you handle the next four days? Um, well, first of all, I'm going to tell everybody to chill tomorrow, really, <laughs> you know, relax. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm going to sit on my couch with Grizz, man. My that, was Grizz my, that was my next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to sit on my couch, watch some football, enjoy that, but yeah. making sure the girls recover and, you know, be ready to come right back into work um, on Monday. Um, but just keep it simple um, and make sure the, the big thing is going to be um, making sure our bodies are good and we're feeling good. Um, but, yeah, it's just taking time to recover for all of us and then moving forward, um, you know, going in, immediately getting our mindset on Purdue Northwest, who is off to a hot start, too. Yeah, we saw them over in the Hampton, and they looked yep. good. Didn't get to see them yep. with you guys off and both in the court. But yeah. obviously we'll get to see that on yep. Tuesday. Coach, I know you're rooting for the Packers. I wish them best <laughs> luck, even though I'm a Giants fan. But, you know, after two wins, I'm on your side yeah, always. Yeah, there so. you go. I appreciate uh, that. Congrats on the great weekend, Thanks. Coach. Looking appreciate forward it. to Tuesday's matchup. Yep.